Hi, Jen and Casey here with another Fusion Online video. Today, we're going to be looking at some classical and contemporary work, just comparing and things that you can think about to be a little bit more creative and a little bit more tailored to your client. All right, so classically, when we teach short box, yeah, we have um, the feet and the foot strap. And a lot of people cue classically short box that the most advanced version of this is that your legs are straight and you're pushing out against the um, foot strap. And then of course you want a little bit of room behind you on the box for your sacrum. The only problem with this starting with this straight leg is it doesn't really encourage the pelvis to articulate into that posterior position. So if you really look at your clients, back up and watch your clients do this, and if you're starting them with that straight leg and articulating the pelvis, right, most people, oh, yep, are gonna go right into that kind of anterior tilt in the lumbar spine, and they're not going to find that flexion that we want them to find in this position. So, here are some ways. Go ahead and put your feet up here, okay. Casey. Now, there's a number of different ways that you can remedy this, right? We can, of course, bring the carriage in. Whoops, or maybe not. Here we go. Yeah. Come on off for a second, Case. Okay. So we can bring the carriage in. All right, that's one little remedy that we can do. Um, for your shorter clients, you might also have to put some yoga blocks behind the shoulder rest. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that for Casey right now. Casey, go ahead and sit up. Okay. And we're going to bring out the foot strap again. Good. And she's going to anchor her feet. Yep. Now, I want her to have, especially for my beginning clients, and intermediate clients, <laughs> to have an anchor for her feet because this is really going to help the connection um, of the pelvis moving into that posterior tilt and cueing more into all her core structure. Mm -hmm. She has a little bit of room behind her and look, she has a nice flexion in the hip and the knees. So she's going to take a deep inhale and on the exhale keep feeding the leg bones and the feet into that anchor. Good. So she's Velcroing her sacrum, nice, and that looks much better. Take a deep inhale, and now on the exhale, curling up, finding that diagonal from the deep belly into the back of the rib cage. Good, and bringing the sacrum to the front of the body and stacking up. Let's see that one more time, that was beautiful. Inhale, exhale, feeding the feet and the leg bones. Good, finding that nice posterior position. You could even, if people needed to, have something between the legs. And on the exhale, I want to see that diagonal of the deep belly reaching into the back of the rib cage, and then the sacrum comes into the front of the body as she stacks. Beautiful. All right, come on off for an another second case. Another version that you can do, which we really like a lot, is the long box version. So you do long box for short box. <laughs> All right, so she's going to have a seat on the box again. We're going to put the foot strap on, but I want her to keep feeding her feet into that um, platform. Now, I'm going to use the pillow behind her. She doesn't really need it, but you will have a lot of clients that need a little ramp that they can bring their lower spine into so they can really feel their back ribs and their lumbar vertebrae pushing against something. So this gives them something tactile to find that flexion in their lumbar spine. All right, so a little bit of a ramp. She's going to take a deep inhale, feed the feet into the platform, exhale, and come back on your little ramp and see how beautiful that is. Take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, I want her to push the pillow away as she comes up. The sacrum goes into the body, and she stacks, stacks, stacks. Very good. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, keep pouring the legs into the foot plate, finding that pillow behind her, finding that diagonal from the deep belly into the back of the rib cage, and then on the exhale, pushing the pillow behind her as she comes up, and then stacking to the top. 
Good, and let your arms come down. Very nice. So that's the beginner, just watching them round down and come back up. But then you can also use these different versions for all of your short box work, the oblique, um, yeah. the spear of fish. Mm -hmm. So this is a really nice way to experiment. And go ahead and experiment and watch your clients. See what's different about their positioning and what's different about what they're finding. It's a good challenge. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.